this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Last time, we made it, uh, where the hell are we? We made it to Pinnacle Rocks, and we found Ramo here, and apparently he wants us to find these five ghastly manifestations of himself, and tell us a story, I guess. Kind of a weird puzzle, but, well, there you are. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Hey, it's Monty! Uh, which one was that? Didn't we see him earlier? Sometimes the Moogles will move around from one area to another, and, uh... Yeah, he was the Moogle back at the, uh, the evil forest there. Well, there we are. Okay. Deliver a letter to him while we're here. Any other letters? No, no, that's it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Also, one thing I wanted to mention, I've rearranged my equipment, as I have listed in the video description there. Uh, Zidane has Stone Killer, which well, deals more damage to stone-type enemies. Uh, and, uh, let's see, I got BB, I want him to finish off the Reflect Ring. And Dagger, I want to start working on Auto Haste and finish that off pretty quickly there. Um, I'll go over, uh, learning abilities in just a moment. Got a Mithril Vest. Well, I already have one of those. Let's see. Ah, there's another one of those guys. Now, n now that we have the running shoes, uh, one thing I want to elaborate on is uh, learning new abilities, particularly abilities that you can only learn on accessories. If you want to learn every ability for every character in the game with some minimal grinding, which I've already done all the grinding that I'm going to do for the rest of the game, but you have to put abilities that can only be learned through accessories on top priority. Let's see, for this guy, killing him is top priority. Let's see, is cast bio on him? Oh, you know what? I should use a tense, like, on BB there. <laughs> Holy cow. But anyway, for accessory exclusive abilities, that would refer to things, usually that means auto abilities, like auto reflect, auto haste, and eventually we'll learn auto life, too. So, uh, we'll get that later. That guy's pretty easy there. But yeah, the reason you want to be concerned or pay attention to uh, accessory equipment is for learning abilities is because accessories have a tendency to be unique, unlike other equipment types. Uh, like, I mean, most other equipment types you can just buy at a store. You'll have multiples of them, so characters won't be fighting over them to learn those abilities. But like auto, re like the reflect ring, the running shoes, we're not going to get a second pair of those for quite some time. So we want to work on them right now. Or, yeah, learn, work on them right now as a top priority there. Because eventually, like, in one of my test runs, I worked on some abilities. I worked on all the other abilities because they were easier to learn, they were faster, and in general, they were more useful overall. Let's see. If we want to go down here... Haha! -ha! There we go. And over here, we get another Mithril Armlet. Awesome. But the problem is, is if you work on all those cheaper abilities first, and you save all the auto abilities for last because they take so long to learn, then what happens is that you won't have enough accessories to go around, and some characters will be stuck not learning anything for a while. So, essentially, the gist of it is, uh, you know, put the auto abilities at top priority to learn, and even if they're not that great right now, so that way, later in the game, when we get our full party, then we'll... The, the others will be able to work on them later. So, there we are. Okay, we found all the five manifestations of Ramu there. Let's see if I can't find one other enemy that I want to show off here. It can be a little irritating. That's the exit there, by the way. Oh, come on. What happened to the encounter rate here? Ah, there we go. Let's see if I found them. Yes, Seeker Bats. Oh, these guys, they can be a little annoying. But uh, I should be able to take them out. Let's uh, try to steal something from them first. Or we could uh, get tranced when I really don't care. Oh, wow. I never really liked limit breaks in RPGs in general. They just never really seem to do much for me. Well, maybe Lufia too, but that's a different story. But anyway, yeah, steal from them. They can inflict uh, darkness on you, which is what can make them pretty annoying. But if you've got bright eyes equipped, like I do, then it's not really a big problem. Um, okay, I guess, uh, yeah, these guys are weak to fire, by the way. Uh, let's use Tidal Flame on them, then. Why not? Oh, come on, take him out, Zidane. 
There we go. Yeah, we've learned some new uh, limit breaks, too. Or Zidane, as he levels up, he expands on his limit breaks. The other characters, they don't, really. Oh, well. But anyway, that's how you deal with those guys. Hooray! Okay, so let's uh, pack up and get out of here, then. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Hey, how's it going, old man? Now, essentially, well, you don't even have to do this part. You can just say, hey, Ramu, uh, piss off, you know, and we can just leave, yeah, but you won't be able to get him then. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a good idea to uh, do this whole thing. So, yeah, did you, does this story uh, sound a little familiar to you? Yeah, it's a Final Fantasy II reference, but if you never played Final Fantasy II, which at the time, I don't think even Final Fantasy Origins had been released in the United States, had it. But anyway, so you wouldn't understand this story. But anyway, now for the last part, you have an option. You can either choose hero or human. Let's show human first. Why not? And if you really want to read the story, well, pause. But essentially, yeah, it's just the story of how we got the goddess bell in Final Fantasy II and saved the world. Now, the last part, well, is optional because, well, back in Final Fantasy II, you didn't have to go back to Salamando to tell Joseph's daughter that he died in the line of duty, you know? So, there you are. So, it could have gone either way. So, I like how they did that there. But, let's see what other, uh, what the other option says. What if you choose Hero? I suppose the best heroes are the ones who you probably would never know that they were heroes. Well, maybe not necessarily, but you know what I mean. A good hero sometimes would do, would be so selfless that they wouldn't care whether anyone knew that they sacrificed themselves like that. Oh, well there you go. Hmm. What do you mean? Yeah, the rest of the dialogue proceeds the same, as long as you put them in the correct order there. You're fine. It's pretty easy to figure out, even if you hadn't played Final Fantasy II. Hey, hey, all right! We got our, a new Eidolon! Or, well, our first Eidolon that we can actually use. Ramu! And in order to learn Ramu, we have the para, pa, Paradot? Parado? Something like that? I don't know. But essentially, it's a jewel that you can equip as an accessory, and you learn the summon just, or the Eidolon, well, summon, whatever. You learn it the same way you would learn any other ability or spell or something like that. Summons are actually pretty good in this game. Uh, not as good as in Final Fantasy IV, but still pretty useful. So I, I actually really like them. It took me a little while to figure out how to use them properly, but, you know, I mean, they're the same, they work the same as in Final Fantasy IV. You summon them and they deal mass damage you know, so. Too bad we can't fight that large groups of enemies like in Final Fantasy IV, which is what made them more useful. Oh, but... uh, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, after fleeing Alexandria and leaving everyone behind, you know, you gotta take what you can get. But I suppose, you know, with everyone there trying to kill her, you know, it's a pretty good reason. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, old dude. Well, okay, then, uh, oh, hey, there's Lindblom, all right. Well, let's just head on over there and ask Sid for help. Now, yeah, yeah, you can't go back once you uh, jump off here, so there you go. What's going on? Yeah, I, I suppose so. That would be pretty effective. Uh, hey, what's up, V? What's going on? Hmm? Uh-oh. So that's where she went. I knew she said she was going somewhere. Crap. Now, some people have told me that earlier in the game, when they had, when Lin Bloom went to help, uh, Bermisha, and they said, oh, we have to take our eyes off of Alexandria, that that's part of the reason 
why Alexandria was able to attack Lindblom like this. Really? They never so directly say anything about that, but it just seems like, you know, they led two full-scale invasions, and Lindblom didn't bother to think, hey, you know what? Alexandria might come after us next! You know? I don't know. It seems a little implausible. Whoa! Holy cow! No wonder they decimated Bermisha so easily. Whoa! Holy cow! Those guys can look pretty intimidating when they want to. Well, we gotta stop them if we can. Uh-oh. No! Not again! What summon is she gonna pull out of her ass this time? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! Ha 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 ha!